once again, YouTube. My name is Simon from the Traveling Dukes, the SS Motion, Blocks Fest, whatever you want to call it. And today, I'm happy to announce that I've got a big sale going on. All my old things, some of the Blocks Fest stuff, any duplicates, we're going to be selling them. It's going to be an amazing time. Let's go take a look. So to really understand why I've got so much Mega Blocks, we've got to start up there. Let's go. So my YouTube channel, The SS Motion, started a long, long time ago making stop-motion animations from Halo Mega Blocks. After a while, we started Blocks Fest, me and my friend Anthony, and then we, we ran the event for four years. It was a gaming convention, all to do with Halo Mega Blocks. It's not looking as bad as it used to. Yeah, so this used to be our main base of operations, uh, where we recorded most of our videos and made our stop-motions. It's also where all of the Blocks Fest stuff was stored, which was a lot. These massive... Containers just full of bricks. Uh, I, I think it's probably close to like 10,000 bricks just here, there, and everywhere. Limited edition posters. Mm. Sign sets galore from all the dev teams at Mega Blocks and 343 Industries. My pride and joy. I'll build this one day. Halo 4 forward into dawn. Signed by a load of the dev team at uh, somewhere. Find the gold Spartan. That's Blocks Fest number one. And yeah, I just accumulated all this stuff while I was making Blocks Fest. But now it's time to get rid of some, and I'll show you why. So, this is my parents' bedroom, and this is directly below where I stored all the stuff from Bloxfest. And you can see there is a crack that runs right across the ceiling. That's from the weight, the sheer weight, of all the Mega Blocks and all the collectibles that I've had up there. This has to stop. So, the solution to the problem was over the last week, we have sorted through everything. First of all, we had to get everything down from the attic. Really hot up here! And then we meticulously sorted through every single figure. That's a lot of Halo! <sighs> now that's a lot of Halo! We gotta sort this all out. We sorted them by colour, we sorted them by rarity, every single vehicle, and eventually, after a long arduous process, we separated one of everything for me to keep, and finally, it all comes together here, our photo studio, where we use these beautiful floodlights to create a very nice effect on these figures. This is not the camera we're using, we're using an X-H1 with a very, uh, very long lens to take the initial photo, then loads of profile photos, then a photo of all the figures together. Now, we've got all of this. Each one of these vehicles has been paired very carefully by a collecting professional with the correct figures and the correct weapons for the era of Halo and the scenario. They've all got different base plates and different drop pods, weapon packs, accessories. Every single one has been put together with love and care. And I really think once you see these listings, they are the top of the line old school Halo sets. I'm, I'm very pleased with how we put these together. But all these figures, look at that. That's way more than the countdown ever had to begin with. We're left with this for now. Uh, this is mostly going to be my personal collection. And please join me later this week for a full collection tour of all of my Halo, all of my Mega Blocks. And every single purchase contains a poster from Blocks Fest, some Halo collector, and a transferable tattoo. Why wouldn't you want all this? Goodness. So please guys head over to the eBay link that I'll post below and if you support these eBay listings today 10% of all the profits will go to WWF to help conserve orangutans and stop deforestation for palm oil. So it's just a win-win. It's just win-win. Get some mega blocks to help save some orangutans. And this was uh, another video with Simon from Bloxfest, the SS Motion, the Traveling Dukes and see you next time. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa!